What it do, T-Squad? It's your girl, Color Me Pink, and I am here with a new behind-the-scenes tea video. So you guys know last week I did a video on former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Fallon Gorbadia, um, baby daddy, now ex-boyfriend, ex-fiance, sitting down doing an interview where he called her a groomer. He said that she groomed him, and... I was saying in the video that he used the wrong verbiage. I said manipulative, yes, maybe, but groomed, no. Well, after that interview, Fallon popped up on her social media page wearing a pink crop, I mean, a lavender prop, crop top that read the groomer. <laughs> And she currently has the shirts on sale if anybody wants to buy them. I thought it was very tongue-in-cheek and funny. Don't really know if other people are going to buy them. Well, I guess after receiving backlash for the interview, Jalen has now retracted his statement and has come with this. He wrote, I would like to address a re recent statement I made during my interview on the Relationships Matter podcast where I used the term grooming incorrectly while discussing my past relationship with Fallon Pena. My choice of words was a mistake and I want to set the record straight. In that interview, I intended to describe Fallon Pena's behavior as manipulative, like I see it, not as grooming. I recognize the gravity and sensitivity surrounding the term grooming, and I want to make it clear that is not what I meant. My intention was to highlight the manipulative aspects of our relationship, which had caused distress. Since the interview, I've noticed that Fallon has attempted to turn the situation into a joke to further her own gain. This behavior raises concerns about her character and her apparent insensitivity towards the seriousness of the matter at hand. It's unfortunate that she has chosen this path rather than addressing the real issue, issues that were discussed during the interview. I mean, but what you want her to discuss? You want her to get online and be like, yeah, he was right. I'm manipulative and I'm a cheater and I'm a liar and all of this stuff. Nobody's going to do that, especially not in public. You're the one that decided to do this interview. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really know what he expected from her. Now, is the t-shirt, like I said, it's tongue chung and cheek and it's funny to me as a clap back to him. Is it a shirt that I would wear? No, because of the insensitive, insensi oh, no, I can't even talk, insensitivity of the word and the meaning behind it. Like I wouldn't be walking around with a shirt like that. That's just crazy. Um, but I don't know what more he's asking of her. It's kind of weird. Anywho, um, he then says, I want to emphasize that while I apologize for the incorrect term I use, I do not apologize for calling out her manipulative actions during our relationship. It's crucial to recognize and acknowledge such behavior, especially when it affects individuals on a personal level. Moving forward, I hope this clarification helps dispel any misunderstandings. My intention was to shed light on the challenges I faced during that time, not to create controversy or accuse anyone of grooming. I appreciate your understanding and the opportunity to correct this miscommunication. Um, well, at least he cleared it up. You know, it was a pretty good, you know, press release, Instagram press release. <laughs> um when are you, when are you gonna go away? When are both of y'all gonna go away? Neither one of y'all are on TV anymore. Y'all wrapped up filming a couple's retreat. I thought you were like a club promoter or something. Go back to doing that. Like I'm sick of both of y'all, first of all. Um, at the end of the day, y'all have a child with each other. Y'all gonna have to be in each other's lives at least for the next next 18 years. So Y'all need to learn how to respect each other at least on a parental level. You know what I'm saying? And think about your daughter at the end of the day who's going to grow up to see these things on the internet, okay? Um, so doing interviews, calling her manipulative, using the wrong words, saying she groomed you and all of this stuff, it's just not cool. It's not cool. 
Um, y'all need to do some co-parenting counseling sessions or something. You need to grow, get over your past trauma. She needs to grow and get over her past trauma. Y'all were two broken people trying to come together and be whole. And it wasn't going to work because the, the edges is jagged and it never was going to fit. Absolutely not. Y'all had a beautiful baby out of the situation and she needs to be the first priority for the both of you. Okay. That's how I feel. And to be honest, next season for Real Housewives of Atlanta, we all know Portia is going to be back. Bring Fallon back. Bring her back. Bring her back. Bring her back. And what I would do, I wouldn't even tell nobody that she's coming. I wouldn't tell none of the girls that she's coming. I would wait to the first group event and let her walk through the door. That way, Portia can't run. She can't do none of that stuff because it's a conversation that needs to be had. Regardless of the fact if she was cheating or not, what Portia and Simon did was still equally wrong. I feel like she and Simon, Fallon and Simon, were both wrong. Now, knowing the things that have come out about Fallon and Jalen and all of this stuff, uh, it was it was wrong. It was wrong. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like y'all both was playing in each other's face. But there needs to be a conversation between Fallon and Portia. It really does need to be because they was kicking it outside of the show, going out together and all of that type of stuff. And then you turn around and start dating my husband. Make it make sense. So, yeah. Um, and I feel like if Portia comes back next season, all of that needs to be addressed. All of it needs to be addressed. She, her feet need to be held to the fire for all of that too. I understand they married now or whatever, but you ran away because you didn't want to face reality and the consequences of that situation. And I think that you just wanted to go off and live your life and not have the world crucifying you every week, you know, cause they was on your butt for quite a while, quite a while about that. But, um, yeah, I just need for Jalen to go sit down and just be the 23-year-old that he is and stop trying to make this 15 minutes of fame last even longer. It's giving thirsty. It's giving hungry and desperate at this point. And once again, like I said, y'all need to put y'all baby who is gorgeous first because she's the most important thing in this whole big scheme of things but y'all let me know what y'all think about him retracting what he said what do you guys think about Fallon's t-shirts will you be buying one let's talk down below in the comment section make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video bye